and you say some tips some tips what was it you said so you want yeah do you tips. have any you know tips or suggestions in your in your book about maybe you know one or two tips that you know how women yeah. can maybe reduce the stress or think about it more or, or where to get help yes so uh one, one of one of my biggest tips is to slow down mm. i find that because we're trying to uh fit so many things uh, into a small space of time um, and because we have the eight till five that takes up so much of our daily time the pockets of time that we have at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day we try to fit a lot in right we're trying to fit so much in and we often feel that we just don't have enough time right we just don't have enough time to accomplish the things that we want to do so one of my tips is to slow down and not rush because rushing gives you a feeling of stress. Rushing equals stress, mm. right? Yeah. So if you can slow down and you and you can um, not rush, then you're automatically reducing that stress level. And if you, you don't have enough time, then you need to make some decisions about what you're going to do with your time do you still need the eight to five can you reduce the hours yeah. do you yeah. need to change something you know take action on these these getting and to make things better you know so that's my tip number one um yeah. is to not rush i love to... that i love that because it leads a lot of credence there's that phrase stop and smell the roses right and you know, and there's, I never really thought about it in terms of, you know, slow, slowing down, yeah. um, you know, and, and that's great. That's great. So now we can slow, uh, connect slowing down with smelling roses. All right. Yeah. Love it. And then my second one is to have fun. Ah, because love it. if you can find the fun, if you can have fun, find the fun look for the fun or make it fun then uh that is the antidote antidote to stress fun is the to stress good tips i i, I love it 